वेलकम टू रा ऑनलाइन टूडेज टॉपिक इज सिकल सेल एनीमिया इन प्रेगनेंसी सो इट इज अ मोस्ट कॉमन इनहेरिटेड कंडीशन वर्ल्ड वाइड विद एन इंसिडेंस ऑफ वन इन टेन थाउजेंड लाइव बर्थ एंड इट कैरीज अ मोर्टैलिटी ऑफ वन पॉइंट वन परसेंट इट इज अ सिंगल जीन ऑटोसोमल रेसेसिव डिसऑर्डर इट अफेक्ट्स अ हिमोग्लोबिन स्ट्रक्चर वेर दे सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ वेलिन फॉर ग्लूटामीन इन पोजिशन सिक्स इन बीटा ग्लोबिन चेंज ऑफ द हिमोग्लोबिन नाउ दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन फॉर ग्लूटामीन फॉर ग्लूटामीन बिकेम्स वलीन एंड दिस रिजल्ट इन अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ हिमोग्लोबिन कॉल्ड हिमोग्लोबिन एस एस नाउ देर इज अ होमोजाइगस कंडीशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज हिमोग्लोबिन एस एस वेन बोथ द जीन्स आर म्यूटेटेड एंड हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन एस दैट इज एच बी एस सी कॉम्बिनेशन विद बीटा थैलसीमिया एच बी एस बी थैलसीमिया एंड कॉम्बिनेशन विद हिमोग्लोबिन डी ई ओ आर एफ ऑल दोज हैज ऑल्सो बीन डिस्क्राइब एज हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन ऑफ सिकल सेल एनिमियाज नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज देर इज एच बी एस एस इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन इट इज ओके बट in abnormal uh, conditions there is polymerization of this abnormal hemoglobin ss it happens in low oxygen condition and it formation of hbss polymerization leads to formation of rigid and fragile sickle shaped cells and these rigid and fragile sickle shaped cells are prone for hemolysis and vaso occlusion in the small blood vessels so in the peripheral smear we will see the normal this is the normal rbc shape whereas in sickle cell anemia the cells become like this and we also see there is a presence of um, uh, sickle cells there is presence of hovel jolly bodies target cells and there is persistent reticulocytosis so in the peripheral smear the diagnosis of sickle cell anemia is made by uh, sickle rbcs with hovel jolly bodies and target cells and persistent reticulocytosis and in patients in whom the peripheral smear is normal we can add sodium metabisulfite and induce sickling so in the presence of hemoglobin ss sickling can be induced and then the peripheral smear needs to be examined in a high risk or a, where the suspicion index is very high so if the patient is co coming from odisha we do a sickling test to find out the uh, confirm whether there is any sickling in the presence of sodium metabisulfite then we also do a confirmatory diagnosis of sickle cell anemia by doing a hemoglobin electrophoresis which confirms by showing us hemoglobin s we also do hemoglobin solubility test this is cheap rapid and simple test this is done in low resource settings other uh, investigations to be done in a patient of sickle cell anemia include complete blood count renal function test le liver function test reticulocytic count ferritin serum ferritin and serum folate we also do the red cell antibody screening to find out the immune hemolytic anemias now before pregnancy investigation of sickle cell anemia so we have to screen for hiv hepatitis b and c hiv and rubella vaccination should be given before becoming pregnant before the patient sickle cell anemia patient becomes pregnant we should be knowing her cardiac status so we have to do ecg and echo we should do retinal screening because if there is a hypoxia and there is proliferative retinopathy that can be identified in fundoscopy done before the pregnancy period we have to do renal function we have to do genetic counseling that this defect is a is a genetic defect and there is a likely chance of giving it to your baby and you have to do partner screening and then we have to do the screening for iron overload especially because these patients could have received multiple blood transfusion we should do the iron overload scannings and we should also do the screening for red cell antibodies for pre transfusion testing and extending phenotype matching for rhesus d c e and kel antigen is required because these people receive multiple transfusions so before becoming pregnant we should do all these tests and after she becomes pregnant every month we should do hemoglobin hematocrit platelet and bilirubin now we should also look for the forced expiratory velocity of the first second that is fev1 in adult it is associated with early death and is predicted of acute chest syndrome so fev1 forced expiratory velocity in the first second that if it is low it is associated with the acute chest syndrome and early mortality so we should get a pulmonology opinion and do a, a pulmonary function test we we can give the patient spirometry exercises to increase the 
functional capacity of the lung. We also need to measure the transaminase level, LDH level, which is a marker of hemolysis. We need to check her blood pressure and urine dipstick test should be done for protein infection and hematuria. And if the patient is on hydroxyurea for sickle cell anemia, we should stop that. And if the patient is on ACE inhibitors and ARB, that should be stopped before becoming pregnant.